Hello, and welcome back to Epic Mickey. So, I've actually... There's been a recording break since uh, last time and this time, so if you notice that a bunch of stuff I had painted before is not painted, that's why. But that also means I've edited the last recording, so let's go get that silver e-ticket I missed. There we go. Very good. All right. So let's see, there were two power sparks to get, and one of them was at the Emporium, and I believe this is where the key comes in. So let's start there. Ah, so before he probably just would have asked us for the, uh, the key. But we already found it, so that works. Why, that would be quite fine, my good sir. Thank you. Gotta love it when you complete a quest before you even get it. Alright, that was pretty simple. And I think I remember what you do here, so let's go into the museum. Hey, could we have your only exhibit? Okay. That works then. So, let's head to the movie theater. I've really gotten used to the camera in this game. I am uh, going to have an interesting adjustment going back to how I usually play. Yeah, I already tried looking at your news, pal. It's not news. Ooh, could I have it? Yeah, you know, town pride and all. Why, thank you. I wonder what happens if you haven't brought any, uh, films. Alright. And now, we paint that in. And bring the Cutlass to the museum. Guess sure goes, uh, a lot. kind of small, you know. I would think a cutlass would be bigger, but I don't know much about that sort of thing, so. Wait a minute, how did you warp it all the way over here? Hmm, cartoon logic, I guess. Fair enough. You know, I do have to say, I'm not sure if I really mentioned it, but I think the uh, developers did a very good job at um, taking two-dimensional cartoon characters from these old Mickey Mouse cartoons and turning them into 3D models. It's very impressive, actually. Okay, then. Get us back up with a wrench. Yeah, there you go. Nice. What other projector screen? There are three of them. At least. Oh, well. Thank you for the e-tickets. Ooh, very nice. So yeah, this will be the first projector screen that, at least eventually, we can go back and forth through. And this is a cool one. Through the mirror. Mm. 
So it starts out looking like it's in the, uh... That's funny. The bed moves. Looking like it's in the bedroom from the beginning of the game. But if you come up here... Instead of ending up in the wizard's lair, uh, he ends up here. And the mirror is huge now and we're tiny. And we get some nice music, so I'll stop talking for a moment so you can enjoy it. Nope. I'm not even sure if what I'm doing right now is possible. Oh, sweet. I got it. I don't think I can get up there at the moment, but I actually got the film reel. Ooh. Okay, that's a little weird, but it works. Ow! Ha! <laughs> I health the second I uh, took damage. No, give me the e-ticket. Yeah, I have, in fact, um, gone back and forth through this projector screen over and over again. Just to, um, mine e-tickets. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything there right now. Don't hit me. Thank you. A very similar bedroom, but mirrored. And now, we can go to Oztown, which is a very cool place. I am, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Oztown is neat. Oh, can we actually go right back right away? Uh, another nice little sound, uh, soundtrack piece, or I don't know what I'm saying. Another nice little bit of music that's not included in the soundtrack, sadly. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little, um, green. Thank you for the wonderful description. Yeah, I think this may also be a place where the music changes. Oh, come on, camera. Where the music changes uh, depending on whether or not you paint or thin things in. Yeah, look at that. We can go back to uh, Mean Street instantly. Ordinarily, I might paint all that in, but I'm not going to bother yet. Oh. Oh, hello, Clarabelle. These cartoon bits are really pretty. Just well done. Ha <laughs> 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 That's... sad. <laughs> and how exactly did Oswald get there without fixing the bridge? Oh gosh, a gremlin handyman going missing in a small town. That's not a cause for concern. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Shove, shove. Well, you know what? That you're a video game character and therefore can't do anything for yourself? No offense to you personally. It's just like all video game characters. Okay. So let's see here. I could do a thing. But I'm gonna wait. There are lots of things I could do, but I'm going to wait until I actually get them as legitimate side quests. So, um, let's do this.
I think I might have missed this the first time I was in Oztown. I'm not sure, though. I don't think I did. <laughs> Gorish indeed. Ooh. <sighs> if you want to know why I once um, was mining e-tickets, this thank you game for restating what you just told me. Okay, Goofy. But yeah, if you're wondering why I was mining e-tickets from that one projector screen, it was because I missed all of the, uh, or I missed some of the animatronic parts. I had to buy them from the shop, and I needed the money to do it. Okay, let's see. There are several things. I'll talk to you first. So, that's a quest. Thin the gag factory, which is why I wasn't bothering painting it. So, uh, why not? Whoa, come on. Be very careful with what you thin, though. Yeah, you might notice there's a thing there, but I'm not going to paint it in just yet. Ooh. Oh, I'd forgotten there was a power spark there. Cool. Though I just lost a paint guardian for all of that. I know they have names, but I tend to call them paint and thinner guardians anyway. Okay then. Let's see if that was enough for him. Why thank you. And now, of course, that we have exploited him for a reward, let's go ahead and paint this thing back in. Because we can. <laughs> and, to be a, a little bit more serious, because, you know, I'd like my paint guardian back. And I don't want this place to have the sad, you thinned everything out song, if there is such a thing. No, I didn't mean to paint you in yet. I'll get you. you. Okay, almost done. Painting everything in, I think. Wait a minute, did I have three guardians before? Where'd the third one go? Did it not come back? Oh well, it'll come back eventually. There's plenty of stuff to paint here. Uh... Whoa, camera. I'm gonna do that again. I'm curious what will happen. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> that looks right. Uh, Mickey? I think the word magic might be a bit better to describe you than epic. <laughs> okay, as entertaining as that is, I really should move on. But that is pretty awesome, though. I... I've never had that happen, I don't think. But I'm not surprised. Just, uh... Some collision detection that went a little far, I guess. Uh, 
I'm curious. Does this guy say anything now that I've uh, painted back in the gag factory? Maybe it's, uh, it reminds me of the plot. Yeah, maybe it's the thing that I have consistently forgotten to mention since, like, episode two? Maybe? Maybe episode one. I think episode two. I don't know. Um, yeah, if you notice, there are these little bits of, uh, ink that are coming off of Mickey. Okay. Hey, Moody. What's up? He just says, uh, this casually, unconcerned, like, meh, whatever. <laughs> now, a strange thing, and I don't really have an excuse. So when I was a kid, I don't know why, but for some reason, for some reason I got it into my head that the gag factory was what Moody wanted me to repaint. Again, I have absolutely no idea why. Oh, I missed part of it. And so I tried painting every little bit of that thing. I guess I was thinking, you know, one person wanted it thinned, the other person wanted it painted. And finally, I gave up. Um, but, you know, if you pay the least bit of attention... Uh, yeah, I guess. Whatever you say, I guess. If you pay the least bit of attention, you'll know that actually he meant over here. Sorry, the sensor bar seems a little choppy for some reason. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I still don't know what's going on. Oh well. Anyway, let's paint this in. Nice bright blue. This theme might not be quite as, uh... Oh, that's nice. They tell you so that you don't worry that you missed something. It's, um... This theme might not be quite as catchy as Mean Street, but it's very nice. And there is lots of stuff to paint. Really? He certainly doesn't seem happy to see me now. Though I guess, you know, Mickey actually isn't forgotten. He just sort of showed up. Destroy my own mailbox. Destroy a public mailbox. Destroy someone else's mailbox. Destroy someone else's mailbox. Destroy another public mailbox or trash bin. Sorry, guy. All right. Hey, Moody. Hi. Okay. I won't. No comment. Why, by the way, are you carrying a gun? Just kind of wondering. I mean, that's what it looks like. Bit of an odd one, though. Doesn't seem to have a trigger. Anyway. So here's the thing. I think, I think along with many others, kind of got confused either with painting Mooney's house or, more likely, with this section here. And so, 
we just thinned out that bit of wood out of desperation. And when that happens, the safe falls down, busts open on its own. And, um, Moody is kind of... flattened. As a matter of fact, in Epic Mickey 2, they assume that this is what you did, because there's a whole side quest about Moody not having his memories. At least, that's what I saw when I played it, so... What you are supposed to do is, to be honest, a little counterintuitive. You're just supposed to get close to the thing. I mean, admittedly, it's kind of what they told you to do, but still. Ow. <laughs> what a good likeness. That's great. Hello, Gremlin Prescott. He may seem like just another Gremlin now, but expect to see more of him in the next game. Ah, yes, the magic wrench that fixes anything just when you smack on it. Why are you tinkering with the telephone in my house? Okay. Come on, camera. And now the safe is open. And Moody... Huh, oh, he's back by his house. What does he have to say now? Anything else? And on that note, I think I'll end this episode. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, next time, uh, we forget that, uh, that happened. <laughs> and, um, enter Mickey's house. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.